Hello there, Internet. My name is John Jagsney, and today I'm going to help you fix your geometry for Unreal Engine if you're doing product videos or rigging. So without further ado, let's dive right into Cinema 4D and learn some things about real-time product videos in Unreal. All right, so to kick things off, we are in Cinema 4D and I have a product. I generally work with one main client right now, Ultra Pro Entertainment and Ultra Pro International, and they make deck boxes and sleeves and trading card related things. And I'm working with a box right now and I have this very simple animation of the box closing and it looks pretty good in Cinema 4D. Right now it's not textured, but hey, it gets the point across for what we're trying to do right now. So, let's say hypothetically I wanted to bring this into Unreal Engine as an animation. If you know anything about Unreal, you will not be able to bring in a rigged animation with the Cineware tools. You have to export it as an Alembic or an FBX. So, let's do that. We'll go to File, Export, FBX, click OK. And we'll go to tutorial and right now we're broken up the X because I know this is going to break so we'll just overwrite that yes we want to overwrite it and we'll go to Unreal Engine and we will open up that folder broken FBX and we will close this window and click import all make sure we have import animation selected and get ready when we bring this in we can see there's already something happening weird with the thumbnail let's drag this object into our scene and oh my god it looks like someone cried inside and did a very poor job so I have no idea what's happening here to be honest but I'm gonna show you how to fix it so we can just delete all of this Now let's go back to Cinema 4D and we'll see on our object we have these tags. They are weight tags and what that means is it effectively how the geometry is going to deform based on the rig moving. So I know that for my deck box here the main things that move are the front and back flaps everything else on the inside doesn't really need to move. So you might think, hey, why don't I just delete these weight tags? But then it won't consider all of the geometry when you bring it into Unreal. So what we have to do is we first will click on the sides object. So if you have any other object that does not need to be rigged, but needs to be brought into Unreal, you need to make sure you select that. Then you're gonna shift click shift double click on the weight tag and this window is going to pop up and we're going to go through every single joint and we'll click rig and then zero we'll click on joint and zero joint one zero and just do this all the way down the line and just make sure it's all zero and then what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing just to double check let's select all of our points so we go to point mode up here and then if we zoom in we can see if it was affected by the joint it would be a specific color but it is not so that is good there now we'll select the interior object and then shift double click the weight tag to bring up the weight manager we'll hold shift to bring up the joints window and we can just make this a little bigger why don't we turn off our subdivision surface and then we will solo, viewport solo, and we can see there's a lot of weird funky stuff happening here. We can click on the rig and we'll click zero, then we'll click joint and then we'll hit zero, joint one and zero, and then joint two, zero, joint three, zero, four, zero, five, zero. We don't want that weight to be affecting these static parts of the geometry at all. So next what we're going to do is we're going to close that and we will turn on our subdivision surface and we will unsolo that. We'll click on the highest parent in our object manager. We'll go to File, Export, FBX, and then we'll click OK. I'm just using the default settings for the FBX export then we'll go to tutorial and we'll call this fixed fbx all right so now that that is done 
Let's go over to the Unreal Engine. We'll close that message log. We don't need to bring in the broken FBX because we know that's going to be fixed. And you already saw what it looked like. It didn't look good. Same settings, make sure we import animation, import all. And we'll close this window. Sometimes it'll say like, hey, the wrong things are happening, but most of the time it works anyways. So now we have this object, we can bring it in. And if every once in a while, if you did not set all the weights to zero, it will be a little funky. So we kind of have to go back and do that again. So I can see that the interior of the box still has some weights attached to it. But if we drag this in to our sequencer down here, we bring in the animation, it should be playing. So let's just double check that. Yeah, so the only thing that's happening here is our object still has some weight somewhere. So we can go into our FBX selection in Unreal, delete everything. Let's go back to Cinema 4D and looks like we're selecting the interior. And then let's uh, turn off the subdivision surface and solo that. And then we can shift click the interior, hit Control A and that will select all the points with point mode selected. And let's just do that again. Let's hit zero, and then let's go back up, and then hit zero again, and then let's go back up and hit zero again. Generally a good idea to be on frame zero as well. There is where the funky stuff is happening. It was on joint two for some reason. It was just like, hi, I would like to be part of your life, and I'm going to be difficult. But we're saying, no, you're gonna be zero. So now we can unselect that object, select the highest parent, control S. Save early and save often, my friends. You're going to go back up to file, export FBX for that. Let's just unsolo just so we know what we're working with. And I realize I did not click on my subdivision surface, so let's turn that back on. There is our beautiful Dex box. One more time, master parent, file, export, Oop. FBX. And then we can just do default or whatever you want and you can shift click just to double check everything. That looks good. Tutorial, fixed FBX, and we'll call this the second one. Boop. And we can minimize that. We'll bring up that folder once again, fixed FBX2. Drop that in and then we will go back to our content. I wanna open up that level sequencer one more time. We don't need this other FBX animation in our sequencer. And then we can find that FBX, drop in that animation, rotate it, put it in the scene. Uh, right, right there is fine, sure, why not? And then let's drag this FBX2 into our timeline, go to our animation, pull up the animation settings, the animation track, and then Bam, obviously it kind of clips there and the animation ends, so it'll snap back. But now we have an animation of our rigged object, rigged product in Unreal, and it's not being all funky and weird like you saw earlier in the video. So, I hope you learned something. This is definitely a problem that I've encountered many, many, many times because Unreal and Cinema 4D still don't talk quite nicely, so there's some things you gotta learn, and I hope to save you some time with that. If you learned something, if this was helpful, let me know in the comment section down below if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. If there's any parts of this tutorial that I breeze through because there's a lot of extra little nuances to the software, let me know. I'd be happy to go over a tutorial on that as well, but that'll be another time. Until then, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you, and I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll make some. Goodbye, my friends. Bye!